as human beings, we're kind of robots, right? In the sense that we get inundated with data through our five senses, okay? The data comes at us so quickly in real time that it's difficult for your spiritual self to distinguish reality from what's really just data coming in, okay? But if you look at life as you're a robot with these five senses taking in all data and you stop and you access your spiritual self, you'll realize none of this is real. It's just data coming at us and that you have a lot more power and agency in who you're gonna be than you really think you do because we believe this is all real. Meditation gives you access to your spiritual self in a way that you can consciously choose who you're gonna be in spite of the overwhelming data that's data. coming at you that overwhelms you. So what I've been doing with a lot of people is like meditation is not a breakfast. It is not a task or an event. Meditation is a way of being where you can go, my spiritual self stops this data and chooses, despite whatever circumstance, I'm gonna be loving, I'm gonna be kind, I'm gonna be whatever you declare yourself to be. That's the beauty and power of accessing meditation. You can do it in a courtroom, you could do it in a relationship, you can do it with your children. I did it the other day with my father. We were talking, he was saying something and I was just arguing with him as like a pattern, just to be whatever, contrarian. And I stopped and I, my spiritual self said, what's really going on here? My dad just wants to spend time with me. Instead of arguing with him, my spiritual self accessed back, came in and said, dad, I love you, mm -hmm. right? So it's the power to not be a victim of your circumstance, but to really just stop and go, I wanna be my best spiritual loving self. And by the way, when you are your best spiritual loving self, you can manifest anything you desire and you will see how the world unfolds for you in a loving beautiful way i yeah, hope I was, that made I, sense. I was gonna say that was my first comment is it sounds like manifestation which i have done a lot of in my life i've never done meditation i know a lot of people are into like transcendental meditation we'll talk um, about it and but manifestation for sure well, let me let me explain why, manifestation why woo woo right people go what is manifestation well listen Oh, I, Someone I had to manifest a microphone yeah. before a microphone existed. Manifestation is physical, it's real. Mm -hmm. Again, before that microphone existed, someone had to manifest a microphone, a device that records us. So you can manifest anything you want. You just have to believe in it, think in it, and be it. Mm -hmm.